How's it going, everyone? So, historically, I've avoided making any tutorials involving audio sources. The reason is that they're pretty performance intensive. Having over 8 audio sources on one avatar will immediately drop your avatar's performance rank to very poor. And being that there's no way to animate swapping an audio clip in an audio source, if you wanted multiple variations of one sound effect, you'd need an audio source for each audio clip. Not ideal. Thankfully, this is now easily avoidable, thanks to the new Animator Play Audio State behavior. This behavior, when applied to a state in one of your avatar animators, will play a specified audio clip from an audio source once that state is transitioned to. This means you can easily use multiple audio clips without using dozens of audio sources. So today, I'll show you how to utilize this new component by allowing this alien to shoot beams out of his head. Oh, and by the way, this unfortunately won't work for quest avatars as audio sources are completely disabled on VRChat for Android. Sorry, quest users. Actually, I'm not sorry, fuck you. Here we have our avatar. I've already created the beam effect, but it's lacking sound effects. Let's fix that. First, we'll add an audio source. I'm just going to apply it to the root of the avatar. We're going to want to change some settings on this audio source. First, we'll set the priority to 1. Do not set it to 0, as this will make your audio source the number one priority, potentially canceling out other people's audio as well as world audio. Next, set the spatial blend to 1. This will spatialize the audio in 3D, causing it to play through the left or right ear depending on the listener's position. Under 3D sound settings, set volume roll-off to linear roll-off. The minimum and maximum distance settings determine how close or far your sound will be audible from this audio source. You can set this to your preference, but I recommend using small values to avoid blasting audio throughout the entire instance. Next, add a component called VRC Spatial Audio Source. Set the gain and far to the same values as the min and max distance and toggle on Use Audio Source Volume Curve. Although not required, having this component will significantly improve audio clarity. Now let's move on to the animator. Here I have two states, one when the beam is not being fired, and one where it is. We'll select the beam fire state, click Add Behavior, and select VRC Animator Play Audio. First, we'll need to define the root path of the audio source. We can easily do that by just dragging and dropping it here. Then, we can add our audio clips. I have exactly 10 clips I want to use, so I'll put 10 here and drag my audio clips into each slot. The playback order setting determines which audio clip is played when transitioning to this state. By default, it is set to random, which selects a random clip each time. If set to unique random, it chooses a random clip, ensuring that the same clip isn't played twice in a row. Roundabout plays the clips in order, looping back to the first clip after the last one. Parameter selects a clip based on an int type avatar parameter. For example, if the parameter is 0, the first clip is chosen. In this case, I'll be using unique random. And that's all that's needed for this particular setup. Though, let's go over some more settings included in Animator Play Audio. You may notice that some settings have a common additional property. By default, it's set to Apply If Stopped, which applies the setting to the audio source unless it's already playing a clip. If set to Always Apply, the setting is applied to the audio source even if it's currently playing an audio clip. Never Apply mostly speaks for itself, the setting goes completely unused. Both random volume and random pitch applies a randomized value to the given settings when transitioning to this state with a specified range. For example, here's the effect with pitch minimum set to 0 and max set to 2. Loop determines whether or not the audio source's looping should be set enabled or disabled when transitioning to this state.
Finally, under play settings, you can specify specifically when to stop or play the audio source as well as set a delay in seconds. And that's all you need to know about playing audio on VRChat avatars. Thanks to Animator Play Audio, it's never been easier to add sound to avatars. But if you're struggling and you need some assistance, feel free to join our Discord down below and create a help thread. If you want to be the first to check out new avatar tutorials for epic features, make sure to subscribe. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.